Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Advancing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can really use the random forest regression and then make the land use land surface temperature prediction, LST prediction using random forest regression in Google Earth Engine. I will try to explain all of those things step by step. I hope after completing this tutorial, you are able to do any types of random forest regression for any other model. So let's go. I will try to explain one by one how it will be work. So first of all, you have to import your necessary data set and define your study area. So it's different. This data set is the different on your project for the different types of prediction. We have to use the different types of data set such as anyone to work for that LST prediction in this time I choose for rainfall data set, LST data set, population data set, elevation data set and salt data set. But this data set will be vary from one project to another project when you want to predict another suppose NDVI or EVI or other types of things when you want to predict then this type of properties or this type of data set will be changed so basically it's different on your project so in this project i want to predict lst so that's why i simply choose here the rainfall data set then lst data set population data set and elevation data set as well as also slope data set and then define the area of interest. So just I simply imported my shape file boundary and then I define my study area and then combine the data and sample. This is our second step. We have to combine all of data set in one collection. So create the combined image of rain, LST, population and elevation and any other data set you can simply combine into the one variable. And then combine all data set into one image and max areas without population. Just max out areas without population data. We simply set it. And then sample we collect from here. So in this time, I just take the 10,000 point from the combined image within the area of interest and add a random column to the sample for splitting into training and testing data set and add the same layer to the map for visualization. So that's why it also show about that. So after some time, I'll show you the practical code, then you can easily get it. Then I spill data into training and testing set we created. So in this time, I just spill the data into training 80% and testing for 20%. This ratio will be vary from project to project. But in this time for my project, I just choose the 80% data for train my model and 20% data for test my model. And then we also try to print the size of the training and testing data set and train random forest regression model so for for train this model random forest classifier in this time we are also using here and train data with lst as a target variable and such as rain elevation slope or other types of data as the predictors we are just using here and set the output model to output mode mainly regression and print the regressions model explanation then we can get all of details about this and finally, we prediction and evaluation using this model. So for that, we make the prediction using the train model, uh, our 80% data, classify the combined image using the train regression model to predict LST and add the predicted LST as a layer for map visualization. Then classify the test data to evaluate the accuracy. So classify the test data using the train regression model and set priorities aligned to set the actual LST values to come for comparison. Then further we try to find out you know, create the scatter plot uh, and then to visualize the actual versus predicted LST and generate the scatter plot chart comparing the actual and predicted LST. Then further we try to find out that red line as well as to display the R square values and print the chart. Finally, we can get this type of chart. Here you can see it visualize about that LST prediction as well as also actual LST, as well as we can find out that uh, linear regression equal to y equal to mx plus c. And it also show about the R squared value. Here we find out that R squared equal to 0 0.834. So this is the show about the strong correlation between that actual LST and predicted LST. So now further I will try to explain this code one by one. So that's why I hope you can easily get the idea how it will be work. So first step we have to follow. Just we simply can see I imported all of my necessary 
uh, data set so here you can see this is my rainfall data set so this is the rainfall data set we also need then we also need about that lst data set so this is my actual lst so in this time you can take the rainfall data set for your ground station data or you can also use at the any data set for the rainfall you can use our precipitation data so in this time you can also use at the charts data set it also okay there is no problem or if you have the ground truth data then you can also use it for interpolation and you can also use it there is also no problem for lst you can use at that modis lst all as well as if you want you can also use at that landsat imagery to make the lst map for any other data source you can easily use it and uh, this type of uh, creating this type of predicting factor and population data set here you can see so basically you can find out that population the high density for this type region so population density if you want you can easily use at the different types of data set is already available for google earth engine data catalog or if you want you can also use here for uh, some data uh you, you have the ground data then you can also use the make the interpolation and also make the uh, population data set so this is the elevation data set you can easily use it um, take the srtm data set and you can easily take the elevation and further we also take the 10000 sample point so this is the 10000 point for this whole study area so this 10000 point extract the pixel value from all of predictors and further we are just make that lst prediction okay. so now it show about that higher it will be uh, high or low for that we just predict using that this regression model so you can see this is our actual uh, lst and this is our result for predict and lst so you can see here for this region we find out that lot of changes in here so it's about that the lst will be increased in here so you can get that this is actual lst and this is our lst prediction so here you can see this change between these two map so we can easily identify about that prediction from this map so basically this is the process to use the uh, google earth engine and also use here that uh, make the lst prediction so here you can see the code so just we simply imported the rainfall data set and then we calculate the total rainfall okay so we just use at the reducer dot sum and calculate the total rainfall and then for lst we take the average lst and this lst we simply use at the modis so that's why simply use this uh value for reprojected the scale value and we are just uh, subtract this value then we can get the result for degree celsius but that we also use at the population data set okay, we are take the population data set and then we will take the dem data means nasa srtm dem data and then we combine all of data sets such as rain lst population elevation just we simply combine and then further we take the ten thousand uh training sample point and this point extract the information and then further it make the spill the data set 80 percent and 20 percent data for train and test and then we are apply the uh, random forest algorithm okay? and then further we train all of those things in here and also set output mode as a regression because in this time we also apply the linear reg uh, regression for using the random forest so basically this is the process for using that uh, rain uh, regression model to predict so this is the common uh, algorithm you can follow this algorithm and you can easily predict for anything okay First of all, you simply select your predict, uh, predicting factors and further you are just simply apply this regression um, model and then you can easily predict for LST or NDVI or EVI or any other things we can easily predict using the random forest regression. Okay, So basically this is the process. If you want to learn the more details about that, simply contact with me or if you want, you can also join my uh, upcoming online training program. So basically this class will be start from that 23 august so you can easily check all of details from my website i already added the website link in the video description from this link you can easily get all of details for the upcoming online training program so basically this is the complete online training on google earth engine for remote sensing and gis analysis for beginners to advanced level this class will be start from the 23 august okay this is the estimation last date 20, uh, 22 august and booking last day is 21 august so if you want to get the 50 percent discount on this online training program then as soon as possible book your seat so only for the first 10 reasons will get the discount so if you want to get it then you try to complete your registration as soon as possible so basically it's a total of seven days online training program each day we provide total four hours training session basically three hours for live training one hours for problem solving class this is the class time 
Okay, you can easily check it your local time from here. And you can get all of details for the all of course content for this online training program for the first day, second day, third day. You can easily check it all of details from the video description. Or if you want, you can also visit this website. I already added the website link in the video description. Simply check it, then you can easily get all of details for our upcoming online training program. So when you want to join this online training program, you can get some benefits such as you can get that uh, course certificate after submitting all of assignment. You can get all of materials, mainly slide, PDF, or other things. You can get all of practice code, as well as if, if you miss any live training program, then you can easily cover using the recorded class. And you also get the lifetime teaching support. It's very important as a beginner because when you want to learn the Google Earth Engine platform, you face a lot of problems. So that's why we are also providing the lifetime teaching support. When you face any problem regarding any issue, you can easily get that uh, support for any time after completing the total seven days online training program. So if you want to join this online training program, don't waste your time and also get the 50% discount as soon as possible. Contact in this uh, email as well as you can also contact with this WhatsApp number. Then further complete your registration and join our upcoming online training program. So today is no more. Thank you for watching that. Stay happy. Stay safe.